Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this series, I'll show you my journey of getting this machine, cleaning and restoring it, and putting it into work. Here is part two, disassembling and cleaning jointer table. In part one, I cleaned the planer table, post and threaded rod, some bolt heads, and applied a rust prevention measure. If you haven't watched it, please follow the link in the description or information card. As you can see, the jointer infeed table is stuck. I can't adjust the depth of cut at all. The handle turns one eccentric shaft while the linking piece turns the other one. The two shafts in sync raise or lower the infeed table, but they are completely stuck now. Here's a closer look at the adjusting mechanism. Time to disassemble further. Here, I remove the piece holding the infeed and outfeed tables together so I can move the infeed side independently. I believe it's good practice to put the screws back until I work on this half of the table. Because this is a European machine, you need a set of metric wrenches and hex keys to work on it. Also, when you tilt the table, stuff on it will fall. This block is only a little stock, and some light tabs can break it loose. The other side is tougher to work on. There are more fasteners in proximity, and some of them are difficult to access. I have no idea what this assembly is called, since the instruction is in German. I'm calling it spring block. This video is also my visual guide to putting everything back together.
The infi table is free and heavy. I believe the purpose of the holes here is to align the two shafts with the proper size rod. But I'm sticking another tool into it to spin it free. The remaining shaft is most likely the reason that the infi table can't move. This deck blow hammer may not be the best persuader here, but it was easily accessible at the time. I finally get the shaft move a little, apply some 3-in-1 oil in the newly created recess, flip it around, and hammer more. Rinse and repeat. Then it comes to me, hey, maybe I've been using the wrong tool, or maybe it was the hammering and oiling taking effect. I can draft the shaft loose and play it out completely. Here you can see the rust condition on these shafts. After setting the infeed table down, I move on to degreasing and cleaning the spring block. wire wheel to the rescue again.
I don't know why the wire wheel leaves a yellow tint on the cast iron surface this time, so I switched to a stripping disc. Because of the high offset distance, I couldn't fit the blade guard around it. I do not recommend using this without the blade guard. Shifting to cleaning the outfit side of the jointer table. I was enjoying the angle grinder noise when my recorder battery ran out, and I wasn't aware of it until I finished cleaning. Here are a couple of photos of the result. That concludes part 2, disassembling and cleaning jointer table. In part 3, I'll be taking apart the planar cutter head and making meaningless effort. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share if you want to see more.